I am so glad that you could all join me here. I'm just currently working out as I have made the Red Rocket a little more homely for this episode. So let's put the rack back, have a wee look around as to what I've been up to, and of course showing you all the new things going on. Hello dog mate. it's good to see you at the start of this episode. We have a little bit of a storage station here. I'm throwing all of my chems into this cooler, as well as anything that is weighing me down. The foot locker is for any guns that I have that I have yet to decide whether I'm going to break them or not. We have, of course, a bobblehead stand. No bobbleheads to put in it yet, mind you, but we'll get there. Explosives crate here. We've got a suitcase with anything I may need. And then a steamer trunk that I'm not sure what I'm going to put into it yet. So this place is coming up rightly. We've got a little spotter for my rack here, although he doesn't do that much. And I'm growing some mutt fruit. So... That is the progress report of Red Rocket. I haven't done anything else, and I am currently on call for work. So, if uh, I have to drop out for a second, don't worry. This is pre-recorded. It will be instantly um, continuous footage. Uh, so, let's head on. Now, I was originally going to go to the Drumlin Diner and resolve the thing with Trudy and Wolfgang. But, I do want to resolve it peacefully. Now, I don't have the charisma to do that yet. So it's time to choose violence and to go in another direction. Instead, we are actually going to go and we're going to fight our way into Lexington. What will, you know, hold us there? If one can tell, we've uh, probably going to encounter a lot of enemies, raiders, ghouls, and uh, we're going to get good use out of it. What is that there? Oh. I thought it was a wee, wee storage thing that I may have missed, which would seem unlikely. I have upped the audio, so cheers for everyone giving me a heads up on that. Um, turns out that I just did the audio down on my like headset, so when I listened back to it, it sounded okay. Uh, so it is up, and hopefully this will be the level for the rest of the game. Let me know if it's too loud, too low, uh, just drop it in the comments below, and I will uh, work it out. I think this is actually Wolfgang's camp. Yeah, but he's not here at the moment, so we can take full advantage of that and see if there's anything useful. I'll take everything out of the toolbox. Yeah, we don't want to go too close to the Drumlin Diner just with all that going on. I want that to be later on. Trash can Carla's little hideout here. There huh? she is. Hello. Can we can we talk to you? Can I, can I talk to you, Trash can Carla? Hello. So what's your story? Looking to trade, rob me, or just ask directions to Diamond City? Uh, let's see. Diamond City? Where's that? Directions. Hmm, figures. Just keep going. You'll find the great, great green, green jewel. jewel just inside. Okay, well, we can't. I'm not going to recruit her just yet because obviously I can't do that and I would have nowhere for her to go. But if we climb up here, we can find a little camp. Some speculate this is her camp. I mean, it would provide her a good bit of protection. She seems to always be around this patrol route, so perhaps she just uses it every... Whoa. Oh, no. No. Leave Carla. Oh, my. Wow. Well, not my best, Joanne. Wow. She just didn't die, and they all died. Ha. Huh. Uh, I'll take the shotguns off all of you. Actually, I don't want any of the stuff you're carrying. I used to think, yeah, oh, this is great, but then I come to the conclusion that unless you have explosives, I don't need it. Well, Bessie is away up the trash can. Carla there. Uh, there is a little, well, I suppose. May as well discover the Drumlin Diner. Uh, won't, will we clear it out? It's been a while since I've last been to it. Nah, we'll push on to go to Lexington. We had a deal, Trudy. Hand over the goods. You owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling hem pushes. Whoa! I didn't know about this little pond. Awesome. We'll collect some blood leaf. Did not know about that. I'll have to make we know. It's amazing I've been around this area so many times and you still you always find something new. Yeah, will this discover if I get close enough? 
Yes. Oh, Starlight. Why did I think Drumlin drive in? <laughs> okay. Again, we'll clear that out much later on. But you all want violence, as do I. So, we're going to head straight into Lexington. I want to, first off, do the Super Duper Mart. We'll figure out a wee, a wee story to it. Um, we'll go through the parking garage first. There's a few things we can collect. And, uh, yeah. Just pretty much stock up on as much as we can. I really wanted to read this Super Duper Mart, so I'm looking forward to it. And then when we do do the Drumlin Diner, we'll have to remember the Wicked Shipping, plus the items from Trudy. Uh, I want them both as merchants, which is why I'm holding back on it, because I just need... Uh, I need to find some better Charisma items. I think I, I sold a lot of uh, the good ones. So, is that a ta was that a tactical one I picked up? I think it was. It's only nosy. Yeah, mine's better though. <laughs> My modified one. I was going to bring dog meat with me. Or dog meat. Codsworth. Uh, it didn't work out that way. Uh, I, can't, I think I can go in from this bit. Although, I think this sends me right into the mosh pit. Let's go. We'll greet all the ghouls. Because you can go in from the other way. This was a little freaky. Whoa! Nice. Is this... This is on hard mode, isn't it? It is. I'm just damn good at this game. Yeah, we'll unlock the novice terminal. I've been taught how this actually works, so... Looking forward to that. Let's crack open anything. Take that. Take that. Another wee dot out. Try reset. Boo! Uh, probably should have just used everything first. This has given me so many options. So, let's see. Likeness. Nope. Um, well, it can't be room. Can it be Lisa? I'm through. It's Lisa! There we go! Activate and protect drone. Protect drawn on duty. Protect and serve. I, I can't pull myself to kill them. They're just, they're so cool. And I don't really need to. So we'll take the meds, everything that we can find here. Um, I think there's a little lock container I can go and visit. Or did the ghouls drop anything? One thing about Fallout 76 is, that is absolutely amazing is all nearby corpses is an option. Which is just, it's so handy. Like, really, really handy. Sweet. Nice, we're in. Yeah, I'll take all them explosives, first aid. Nice. Anything in here? Oh. Let's see. Take the antifreeze. Oh, kill him. A few of them made it a fair bit away. Yeah, this is like a Minute Man grave. Whoever ran away from them uh, wasn't, wasn't the best choice of place to run to. And we're back out. Let's see. Where are we off to now? Up the stairs. And this would have given us a good vantage point, but I don't think there's anyone around. I'm not high enough for the behemoth to spawn. I suppose it's a good thing. Now I have incredible luck. <gasps> not enough. That is a shame. But we move on. Super Duper Mart has been discovered, and it is our next looting destination. Imagine we're about to encounter. Yeah. Whoa, I forgot he's got that mini nuke. Oh, he's hiding. I've got a sniper rifle. Ah, yeah. I put you to good use. Where is he? So we know of the turrets. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Well, that turret's not doing much to me. Okay, one turret down. Imagine you hear like a mini nuke noise. 
is to. He won't try and fire that from that distance, would he? I mean, I'm not even hitting him. I have pissed him off, though. He's definitely on his way over here. Well, I guess we don't want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him just yet. Instead, we'll uh, grab all that Mr. Handy fuel. Just think that breaks into nice stuff. Let's well, straight into the Super Duper Mark. Fun fact, this was actually one of the first well-performing videos on my channel. The old one is no longer available. Well, you can find it in like, the unlisted playlist um, of my legacy videos. Uh, so we have been through this place a good few times. There's a lot to find. Let's see if that guy with a mini nuke just pops through. I'm, I'm toast like... I'm gonna lift all these shopping baskets because I think I think they break into pretty good junk. And I've dog meat, like ready to go. So we'll get loads of oil from the Mr. Handy feel. And the shopping baskets will break down into a lot of plastic and steel. Oh yeah, this place is crawling with them. I forgot about that bit. That minor detail. Remember the first time doing this where I was just like, ah, oh, it's, it's all good. And then you discover, ah, there there's a lot of them here. Desk fun. I'm a fan. I'm picking up desks. Desk fans. Okay, so Pit has no likeness. Oh, well, sick wouldn't have been it anyway. Um, would hang. It has one. Okay, time to get some resets. Spunt them here. Try to reset. Good, good. Ah, this one did not come with a lot of dud removals or anything. Okay, let's be methodical about this. So Hang has one in the correct one ladder in the correct position. So it can't be bust. It can't be soil. Can it be lays? Lays doesn't have any like that. Okay. So in terms of hang, it can't be desk. It can't be miss. Maybe bean. No. Oh. Definitely not bean now. Rose has nothing but line. It couldn't be line. Oh, it must be heat then. No, it couldn't be heat. Could it be tanned? Tanned would be the only one. No, it's not tanned. Then what would it be? Tanned has one likeness. So again, can't be that, can't be that. Can't be lays. Can't be desk. No, it couldn't be, because how could hang of being one? What, what would it be? Huh. Okay, I'll try it again. Again, it, it always confuses me. Oh. Ball, zero. Uh, foes, zero. Uh, tack, maybe? That's it. Oh, I'm good. Right, we'll disengage the lock and we'll have our little friendly Protectron. Activate. Powering up. He's gonna help. Protectron on. Did I not unlock that safe? I'm pretty sure I hit the unlock button. That's better. Ooh, gotta love that. Some cash. Let's go through all the registers, make sure there's no cigarettes lying about. Protect and serve. You can be our makeshift Codsworth for the day, Mr. Protectron. Situation normal. <laughs> Bothered him. Love it. Has been reprotect and serve. No, you keep doing what you're doing. I ain't gonna continue raiding the place. An easy to miss magazine if my memory serves me correct at the back. So, again, something we'll have to 
Nej, jag är inte där. Det är en kul så att titta på den. Ooh, tjuk... What? Hej! Hej, han tog sin arm av! Well done, dogmeat. That's exactly the attitude we needed right now. Food, food, food. What a great place to loot. I mean, it makes sense that there's so many ghouls about here. But I didn't know about the two Nuka Cola Quantum, so it goes to show, even with all my extensive knowledge of this game and locations, I can some. Is that Trilby Hat give charisma? I think it does. Yeah. Well, we can build a seriously high charisma character without, like, needing to put any points into charisma. So, one of the best benefits of it. Oh, melons. We can plant them back at base. I am going to turn my camps into an absolute, just, true delight. Powerhouse of the Commonwealth. We get all supply lines set up. Connect all the inventories and then we'll be able to jump between them all and just just to have a ball. Is that our brax? Have I seen that? No. Ah, there we go. Nice. We're in. And now we brax so we'll take that. Yeah, more. Definitely, I think there's a glowing one about too. Oh no, Teddy. We will rescue you. Oh, we can't rescue you. Can I? No. Oh, I can do expert lock saves. Come on, yes. Knight. Come on. Does anyone else think there's nicer feeling than that? I know we're hiding, but where'd that attack trunk go? I don't hear a lot of violence. I hear violence now. I guess I'll go help him. If he dies, he dies. I can take the stuff from him. Did you seriously just wipe the floor with three of them? Is he damaged? He's not. He like does not care. Ah uh, no, you might be a wee bit more. Oh. No. Again. Protect from he's a beast. I'm just I'm gonna identify intruder detected. Beginning search. Attention, citizens. I mean, you I really need to get these hits in. As small an XP boost as it is, it is still XP. I actually almost hit him, which wouldn't be the worst thing. I could take him. Might have to kill him anyway. Take all of the uh, the goodies back. Just a bottle, maybe. More magazines, more ghouls, with stuff that I might need. Yes, I hope you're all having a fantastic evening, and thank you for joining this live if you are, and if you're seeing it after that, even better. And by even better, at least you get to enjoy it at your luxury. I know some of you love being here on scene. I hear movement. Oh my god! Those brains just flew away the map. Body shot. I think that's most of the ghouls that we're going to encounter. Let's get that magazine before I totally forget. There it is. Hell yeah. Now, permanently gain better prices. I think it's by like 3 or 4%. So a game cannot be bad to that. Plus the 100% demands that we get all the magazines. Which we will. We'll make our way through it. I would say... I, I've seen other people do 100% playthroughs. And my... Approximation, if anyone was interested, is I think about 200 episodes, which would be about 200 hours. Now, that's not going to factor in that there'll be some off screen time where it might be just doodering, figuring out how to, you know, do settlements and all. I think with a lot of that, I will just show you like progress updates. Um, 
but we'll be doing the hundred percent in terms of any locations, doing quests, like all that will be on camera. Like I won't be doing any of that. It's just the wee sort of mundane stuff, maybe standing scrapping. If I feel it's not worth throwing in the episode, I'll just you know do it, and then you, that means you're just getting absolute like on what is it on? There's definitely a word I was looking there. You just get all the good stuff that you want to watch. That's it. And then, without a doubt, this obviously going as well as it has. I would say the next game will definitely have to... Ah, no! Stay out! I why they came from outside. This place is just crawling with them. But we've picked up a good few fusion cells. This is 100% pain. Oh, it's always worthwhile. Like th that's why the super duper mart is. It's crawling with ghouls, but it's crawling with opportunity, things to pick up and loot. After this, we'll be basically just clearing out all the unmarked locations around Lexington, show you some places you mightn't have even known, um, filling up the inventory of dog meat as well with stuff. So then we are good to go. Might even do the Corvega assembly plant if time allows. Or if it just plays in nicely. If not, I might clear the outside of it. Ah. Another door. No! No, 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 no. While well, I'm in the bathroom, come on. Sugar bone and a tablespoon in the toilet. Nice. Well, look, if the world was ending, yeah, I wanted to go out. I guess that is definitely one way to do it. Can we read it, everything else in here? We're doing pretty good at picking up everything. Tell you what, once it gets supply lines set up, the scrapping that I'm going to be able to, or the amount of like junk and materials I have, I'll be able to do up. Every so Ooh, I thought you would be the glowing one. I wonder where the glowing one is. I know of one. Somewhere. Uh, dog meat? Oh, a teddy bear. Come here, boy. Come here. Like, like, come over here. I need to set all this on fire. So, come on. Just save me doing that later. Sweet. Nice. Less noise. Dog me, don't run into the fire. I mean, it's pretty happy with him. He's sacrificing himself for me. Of course he didn't need to, because he's fine. He's all good. No dogs were hurt in the production of this episode. No, Josh's hollow tip. Oh. Ah! Where did you come from? Where did you come from? Ah, get him, dog meat. Yeah, pull him by the leg. Hmm. Okay. We have not officially run out of uh, space. Well, Josh, will we listen to you? Hey. Trade. Okay. Uh, you can hold. I'll hold on to the Trilby hat. Game, we might need it later on. Um, but junk, junk is what you can take basically everything of, don't we? Everything. I know, I'm so cruel. Making the dog carry 24 shopping baskets. Four table knives. Okay, well, I ended up giving over the stuff anyway. Weapons. You can have... Shotguns. Light pistols. The short... Laser... Oh no, I actually want that back. 
Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, so he's carried all that. I have about 140 inventory left, so um, might have to do a wee run back to uh, to base. But we'll listen to Josh's hollow tip anyway. I know he was in trouble and got left behind. He was obviously one of the ones that uh, Preston talks about, as in you know that he left them behind or he got trapped or something like that. Search for anything they might tell us where they went. The only thing we found was Anthony. <laughs> Must have been bad. They never would have left his body there. I sent Emma down to the loading dock to wait for me while I check on something. We won't stay long. I just want to get Anthony's body and wait. Oh, the Pharaohs are back. Oh, fuck me. No, well, that's all she wrote when it comes to Anthony there. He obviously didn't last all that long when it came to the ferals. Let's go into the loading bay. But yes, at about 200 hours, uh, I would say we'll complete basically everything. Ah! Good, good. But uh, it'll be 200 quality hours because again, all the cutscenes have been... Uh, slice down because you don't see all the loading screens that I have to see which is a blessing and uh, it took me so long to realize that you can actually get out of here uh, or you can actually access this place from the outside I'll show you the wee turn on the outside yeah, it takes me a minute to boot up I got a really old computer yep that advanced lock terminal sits outside uh, there's no point in me trying to crack it open because I don't need to. Because we're outside. Right. What is next? Emma's hollow tape. Listen to Emma's story. Once we go on a bit of a what raider the hunt. What is Josh doing? He's been gone for over an hour. We need to get out of here. The guys are thinking we're already at Concord. If Josh would hurry his ass up, maybe we can get there in time. Shit! Gunfire! Not good. Josh! So Emma and Josh got left behind. Uh, pretty rough way to go. Right, so I know there's a raider fortification over here. Right. Why is that turret not down? Oh, because it wasn't given the sneak damage anymore. Good job. Sam certainly showed. Yeah, little raider camp set up here. I'll take everything off the turrets. All them targeting relays. Unbelievable that. <laughs> it's amazing what you find when you're just walking about looking for unmarked locations. So many things that were never marked on the map, but so many of us are familiar with it. Like Got this it. camp, for example. I'm sure many of you have just taken it down, but when I did the video on it, loads of people were like, Wow, I never noticed that. So, you know. Handy. No construction yard. There's nothing in the way of items there. Um, oh, Mystic Pines is here. Nice. We could do it as well. In fact, I might do that next. Get ourselves all the good old loot from it. And if I just pop down, where did the raider body go? Did they? Ooh, that's creepy. Where's the raider bodies? Did they like despawn or something? That's wild. You all seen me kill them, right? Where did they go? There is no bodies up here. Ooh, now that's 
That's definitely simulation theory right there. Let's head over to Mystic Pines. A little retirement home. Well, I don't think there's any enemies. Although I don't even remember if I've ever been... I don't know if I've been to the basement. It took me ages to know there was even a basement here. There definitely is a basement, isn't there? I'm not crazy. It's not, it's not live chat. Or the chat's live, but... I'm obviously playing this pre-recorded, so I'm gonna have to figure that out myself. But if you know, congrats. I will figure that out as soon as we march through here. I know there's a little... There's a magazine here. The reason I know where most of the magazines are is because I was actually doing the videos on them not too long ago. Very recently, in fact. So that's... That's definitely helped out for the 100% run in doing that first. We'll take a Jangles. I'll take the Toy Carnal. Nice. There it is. Hell yeah. Well, there's another Tales of a Junk Town or Jerky Vendor. This one's actually called Take Your Business on the Road. So, uh, that's, our prices are getting gradually better. We haven't even taken real advantage of that, which again, is just perfect. Uh, an advanced locked door. Oh. Not my best, uh, performance for the old bobby pin. There it is. Got it in the nice. end. Aha! There is something down here. Okay, I thought there was more to it, but, you know. I'll take a fusion core. Anything in the coffin here? Oh, just a few morbid coffins. Well, there's still that advanced lock door that we've got to do. Which will get us a few more items. That's it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I gotta get the adhesive going. Must actually start farms in Sanctuary Hills to start producing heaps of adhesive. Obviously a really, really vital like crafting component and just necessary material for going forward here. I think that's Mystic Pines. Done! Yeah, not a bad wee way to start. Oh, I can go this way. You know what? We'll just do the more rat den as well. And there's a few spots I want to head up just on the way here. But we'll do the Rotten Land fill then we'll go back on ourselves and uh, polish up Lexington. This is one of the wee checkpoints. An old military one, but if you win the game, or you beat the game, and your chosen faction sets up, then this may be a place where you can find a wee steamer trunk and lots of supplies. Uh, currently it's like completely empty. But, oh. Settler. Best we save them. Yeah, just go to Vats. Make sure you're safe. Should have just run. Excuse me. Yeah. Well, more. Fire in the hole! That should have hopefully got rid of a few of them for us. It's over. For now. Can I recruit them? I never know what you can do with these Excuse guys. Excuse me. Huh? I just saved you. Can I not? Hi. Thanks for the help. Why did I think I could recruit people? Hmm, one second. That is truly amazing that you couldn't, there was no mechanic for recruiting the settlers that you save without mods at all. I find that like years down the line playing it again, I'm like, why wouldn't that be a feature? Why wouldn't you 
like you save them and you're like here listen you know you got yourself clearly in this situation i saved you would you like to come back to my settlement how would that be a difficult dialogue i don't have to die the die yeah the rotten landfill let me tell you a little thing about the rotten landfill right I do unmarked locations, and most of the unmarked locations are with good reason unmarked because, you know, either they weren't interesting enough or they didn't have good loot. This has no loot. It rarely gets a radiant quest at best, and those two settlers are normally dead. Ah, them. Unless they're just gonna pop behind me. They're gonna pop behind me, aren't they? Yes, they are. That's a bit of an XP farm for me. A low level one at that. Well, we do get some loot. But yes, this this place was always one that people were like, I'm amazed this was ever marked. And I'm like, I I actually fully agree. I have seen unmarked locations like uh, like the Vitaly pump house that has the gainer in the steamer trunk. Like, it deserved being marked far more than this. I don't even know what nearby thing you would want to go to from here that would be of, like, extreme interest. Hmm. Now... I am going, I am discovering places. Now, I could walk to Covenant or Bedford Station, which is just a little further north. I mean, I suppose Bedford Station would kind of complete this area. I will go over to Bedford Station. Then we'll look back to Lexington. Clear it out. I want to do the apartments, the pharmacy. Uh, as I said, just a few of the other places. Hopefully kill that guy with a fat man just whilst I'm at it. Uh, there's a load of goulds about here. I'm running really low on 10 mil ammo. I'm going to have to swap it up. Uh, what are we going to go for instead? We have a lot of shotgun shells, so it's time they get put to good use. Hey. Hey. Oh my. You reacted far faster than I thought you would. And you did a barrel. That was pretty cool. Oh man! Dog me! Help me! Hey! Leave dog me alone! Oh, okay. The, the double tap is not. Not doing what I wanted it to be doing. Okay. Him back. Dog is back to full strength. He had a spatula. Gonna go work at the Krusty Krab or something there. I love the wee storytelling thing like that. All the nuka bottles and a cap stash because obviously he drank all the nuka bottles or opened them. It must, you know, go to waste pretty fast or it would go flat. So I'd imagine most of them would just try and drink it. As, as they can. Any secret area up here? No. Desk fan, though. And to be honest, I can't carry much more. And I do know there's some useful items over in the station itself. Oh, we can play the tape. Do you know, it would be so much better if I just eject that and listen to it. Let's have we we listen as we do some exploring, shall we? Bedford Station recording. I don't ever remember listening to this. It's half past. She's late. No. Oh, Dutch. Something's wrong. Someone's coming. Look. Five of them. It's a trap. Damn it. They've got us surrounded. What do we do? So 
that must be been, I'm guessing, railroad? Hold him down, Doc, mate. Good man. Good man. Good dog. Dog meat's got that, got that dog in him. Ah, we have a level up. Okay, so... Let's see what we should, uh, what do we need? What, what is it I would be looking for? Again, fortune finder, we don't really need more caps at this point. Uh, non-automatic pistols do 20% more damage. Mm, that would maybe be nice. The path to your closest quest target is displayed in vats. Hmm, better prices. Could also just be tougher to kill. Belly. Automatic weapons. Well, we don't have automatic weapons as of yet. Uh, any sort of settlement ones? No, see, you know, I'm really high in the charisma department. So I will actually bump up just the charisma before we start taking some points. Um, I think with that, um, I should get a high enough level. Okay, bags of cement. That's a good start. Ah, another one. Good catch, dog meat. Good catch. What are we looking at and wait? Five more capacity. Alright, well, if any of you have something useful, now would be the time to tell me. Loading dock terminal? Is there, like, another thing here? Let's see what this place was up to. All cargo manifests are to be logged in here, maintained locally for six months before being archived to the holotape. Uh, shipments occur between 8 and 8.30. Delivery of the quarry is expected no later than 12, so this would have been connected to the likes of Thicket. Um, output shipments between 15 and 17, or well, 3 and 5 o'clock. Cargo designated should be forwarded to the quarry. Notify Foreman Lanaham upon further instruction. What cargo manifest did they have? Drill parts, grade 4 steel rebar, wire, and miscellaneous. And then granite. And then the next one is just more. Okay. Just a wee bit of, uh, bit of storytelling. Didn't read Dutchman's note, I know. So let's find it. And we look. Deliver your package to the old switching station. The runner arrives at midnight. If you need gear, look for the blue barrel. Blue barrel? Question mark? Blue barrel? Duct tape. Oh no. Ah oh, no. There's a steamer trunk too. Ah! I'll have to go back to the sanctuary with all this, but first! Money, 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 money. Short heavy hunting rifle? That actually sounds killer. If I even carry it. 12 weight. Nah, it's not being carried, like. Okay, what, what crap thing can I drop? Pipe pistol. And a pipe revolver. I'll keep the laser muskets. It's something about a blue barrel. Where is the blue barrel? Is there anything on the roof here? No, anything in the van, dog meat? Oh, we use a toolbox. Always take duct tape. Again, duct tape desk fans. They're sort of top of the loot for me. Anything up here? He had a weapon. Just jumping across some granite slabs here. Blue bin, blue bin, blue bin. I'm gonna have a quick look around to see if I can find a blue bin. Oh, I actually forgot about Helena here. Let's have a look at her instructions. I'm guessing Helena would have had just the same. Package arrived at midnight. Oh, so A9 was here at some point. Never found the blue bin. Not sure what that was ever referring to. Unless it was like this. With the supplies and all. I, I, again, I don't, I don't think that was the case. If anyone knows where the blue bin is, let me know. I'll have a wee look. And then we'll go from there. So, yeah. Well, oh! Thought you were a Yaoguai. Won't lie. I'll leave you all peacefully. These aren't disturbing anybody. Well. Time to get back to the Red Rocket, throw down all my stuff, and we're going to bounce back to Lexington, do a wee bit of clearing out there, discover the Corvega plant, and uh, yeah, that'll be us. We have returned to Lexington. I dumped everything off the Red Rocket station, so we're good to go. Now, let's go through 
all the little finds that is dotted around this lovely town with, of course, your man with the mini new York. He is going to be a little bit of an issue. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to deal with him, but I will figure that out as I go along. Now, let's first check out this little red rocket. I did say I was on call. And two hours later, but for you, absolutely no time whatsoever. See, that makes things just so much easier. And why doing this uh, series the way I'm doing it is just, it works. It works with my lifestyle, works with work, works with everything. So, yeah. Got my phone on silent, so I will see it. It's sitting in front of me here if it goes again. Okay, so. Dog meat, find an enemy. Now, before we go in there, I want to visit the Lexington Laundromat, otherwise known as Faded Glory. Another place that probably should have been put on the map, as it is full of some barracks. So, just plenty of supplies and check all of the dryers. Some of them might have something you need. Bottle the caps, we've got just general junk items, and the previous people that were trying to use it. Is that a bobby pin box, mind you? No, just normal brick. Another teddy bear to join our ranks, and there should be a complete skeleton in one of the drawers here. There it is! There it is, a complete skeleton. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Morbid, but pretty cool. And over G book, we're collecting all of them. We'll get all the tokens. Because I think, uh, isn't there a book or something that you need to unlock using them? I think it is. And that pretty much, that's Faded Glory, so, you know, oh, what's that up there? More Abraxo. I want all the Abraxo. I want to make sure this place is picked clean. Shop mask him. And out the back to the sitting area. A quick save to keep us all right. Pick up a few more things dotted about here. Now, there is a location that we will be visiting later on. So, we did the parking lot beside the Super Duper Mart, and it's the Slocum Joe's here. Uh, you do use this later on when you're exiting out of the switchboard. First things first, it's got lots of stuff we may want. So, let's be sure to pick it nice and clean. Every item here is ours. And then you emerge from the basement and you do the quest uh, trade craft, but don't need to go into the basement as we can't access it, uh, the switchboard from this direction. What am I looking like on weight? Eh, not too bad. <laughs> well, in game it's 114 pounds, so that's that's all good. Is that we? Just more plates. Okay, now we are going to face down probably the toughest enemy we've faced so far. He's definitely still up there. There's a few feral ghouls dotted about. Right, there's a bank we want to check out. There's an office building beside that and... Oh, lovely. Okay, bit of close quarters. That'll be okay for me and dog mate. Hold them down. Oh crap. Ow. No. Dog bait. <laughs> He's just walking away. He's like, ah. Crap. For him. Oh, another one. You somehow survived the fire. Congrats. Okay. I won't lie. The mannequins kind of stirring out the window at us from this little store here is creepy. And I must investigate. Free war money. Mm, just making sure they're not sense. It's a pity you don't find more, you know, like opportunities like that where it is a synth. Definitely could have scattered a few more of them, made you really weary of seeing mannequins. Like super paranoid. Proper no bark from uh, New Vegas paranoid levels. What does a fire extinguisher even break into? Like, is it, is it worth it? Firstly, F is where we will find it. Fire extinguisher. Two rubber, four steel, and asbestos. Well, I don't know what we need asbestos for, but I don't know of many sources of it, so... Look, 
Junk is junk. If I can carry it, I shall do. I know you're all very paranoid at my health level, and I appreciate the concern. I will pop some of them and a right away just to get us back to full. Almost full. Purified water. We'll seal the deal. Alright. So, Power Armor Man is over there. Got some Molotov cocktails. I even think I've got a grenade. We'll equip the grenade afterwards. So with the shotgun build. And it's close quarter combat at the moment. Anything about these rooftops. There's something there is something over there. But I don't think I can make that jump. Maybe with jet. Yeah. Cool. Hmm. Do you know what? Like, we're all I'm all up for experimenting. I did say I don't think you can make it. <coughs> wow! You can! We made it! Woohoo! Never underestimate the power of jet. Which I did. And I've been Correctly, uh, well, I've been corrected on that. Okay, I want to sleep for a few hours. Just wanted to go back to daytime. If it's sunny, it's sunny. There we go. Nice. Now, how do we drop, just drop down onto this fan here? Dog meat's probably like, <laughs> look at him, he's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you up there? Alright. So, we still know he's up there. We're, we're dancing, dancing around the mini nuke man. Sneak into the bank here. Yeah. Uh, they seem to be running up to get him. That's okay. He's done a good bit of distracting for us, so I can appreciate it. And then we'll open the terminal. We don't need to open this terminal door. You're you're about to see why, but I wanted to. So there we go. Plenty of money, but the main prize is the duffel bag down here. Hundred. Now that we've collected everything from these Bonnie and Clyde wannabes. I want them to get up. I need a fucking drink. Um, and come back. I was having fun. Man, you picked the wrong fight. No sign of them now. That's what I'm worried about. Come on, it's over. They must have run off. You can relax. I'll fucking relax when I'm ready to fucking relax. Got it? Ah! Always wear a fucking What the fuck was that? Yes! Follow me! Though they're probably gonna follow dog meat. But this I'll have the high ground. There he is! There is Mini Nuke Man. Let's go. Fact. How do you reload this thing? Wow. So you what, you'd only one mini nook shot? Dog bait! I'm coming! Do you know what? I gotta go close quarters. It's go time! Oh, poor dog. Stimpak. He's all good now. Honestly, I thought there would be way more challenge out of your man. I'm not super unhappy about it, but you know. I think there would just be there would just be a wee bit more going on there. A wee bit more. Well, they're all dead. Oh, they got right up into them. Alright, what are you carrying? Honestly, uh, there's a fair bit of weight to all this, but I'm gonna take it. Is that a pocketed left leg? Hmm. Sounds good to me. 
I'll even take the fat man. Now that has taken up an awful lot of my inventory space. <laughs> Take that. Fuse. And they even took out. Oh, this was the turret I took out. It's another feral ghoul. A mount of feral ghouls they had to fight there. Wonder if you kill him before he fires the first fat man shot. I'm going to guess you would get the menin yuk off him. It, that sounds like it would make sense. So, yeah. We're back down to street level. I think we've cleared out a majority of. Ugh. Yeah, come out and fight me like a man. Get him, dog meat. Rip him apart. Ah, <sighs> bloodthirstiness knows no bounds here. Right. Uh, I think this is we. Is that we backyard playground? It is. I'll just take anything that might turn into something useful. Nothing in the fridge. No. Take the oven mitt. What? Oh no 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 no! Not fighting the Corvega guys just yet. That's a tall order. They're going to be next episode. Right, so there's a little pharmacy and diner. We'll clear them. Oh, why? Do you know what? This is the best place to conclude it. First. Get them all dead. You want them dropping duct, duct tape? Look, I'll take it. It is fancy. Catch! I dealt with all them. Which can I carry? Is it even worth picking up these anymore? Yeah, may as well. We'll break down into useful components. Okay, in terms of armor, we've definitely got new stuff to equip, so I'll take all of the pocketed stuff. Because obviously, you know, much better. We've got the Raider armor that we will uh, put back. Pity I don't, I don't have a power arm frame for the Raider armor yet. I will get one. In fact, I already know of several locations. So, so what is left? We've got the diner, the pharmacy, the apartments, and the unofficial apartments. The unofficial apartments being this one. I'm not going to subject you to the long stir climb, so. And here we go. We made it to the top. What's there should that? be a raider wandering about here with some armor. Ooh. <laughs> Catch. Ooh. Oh, that did nothing. Oh, no. I am in trouble. Um, Right. Over to a shotgun. Pop mad axe. Psycho and two stems. Bring it. Load. Reload. Give me that frame. Give me the frame. Damn it. Okay, well, I actually cannot carry most of this, but that is a level two one. What am I currently carrying? Level 2 torso, level 2 arm. I'll take the level 2 arm. Oh, pocket of boiled. So we've basically got a load of really cool things now. Glow sided hunting rifle? How long? You can keep that. Take the final ammo. Ah, they seem to have some lovely people strewn about their uh, their place here. Uh, oh, sent all the meds flying too. Yeah, this wee apartment.
apartment complex. Occupied by our raider friend here. Dogmate, you okay? What does he keep doing? Oh, it's not something you want to find in your sink. Oh yeah, so there's a couple over here with wee duffel bag of money. I would show you, but I have no way of getting over and getting back. Which is a bit of a shame. I mean, do I survive this? How long? I do. Okay. I have an idea. I think we can get it. If I get the jet, jump over. I could use the jet. Ooh, I can make it. I can make it. I made it. Woo! I thought they had a duffel bag of money. Honestly, I thought you said more. But I'm over here now, and I have to accept that. And let's go find my little Captain America reference. Another video that put the channel on the map. I've seen it in a really old Reddit post. A lot of people were asking me, like, where did this come from when I made the title? And they were like, oh, clickbait and all. It's like, eh, honestly, I remember seeing the old Reddit post and agreeing with it, being like, oh, it's cool. Found it. I put it in the unmarked locations years ago. Hmm. <laughs> Mine. Look at him sitting, just clutching the, the wee mini nuke. Now, the idea was he, like, jumped in there with the mini nuke uh, with the intention of saving everyone outside, and they were all banging to get in because the real nukes went off. Again, if you go with that line of storytelling, it's just, it's humorous. It's funny. I think we're, we're getting close to the end of being able to carry everything about here, so... I will clean the, uh, clean the pharmacy. That's what I'll conclude with. Pharmacy, little unmarked building, right over here. So next episode will be the apartments. We'll clear the Corvega plant. Um, I'll do her about with some of the settlements. Maybe get ten pines to actually start doing some stuff. Maybe even work on some supply lines. So let's get into this pharmacy. Also, if you've made it to this bit, congratulations. Thank you. And tell me this. Is the format that you're seeing this we are every day, is it working for you? Is it a good time? Just let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And uh, it'll be great to hear from you. Because um, you'll be able to comment just in a few seconds here once I finish. Just completely raining out this place. There's actually, there's so much, there were so many like pre-war meds just sitting scattered about on the shelves there. Yeah, this place probably with the ghouls and all. No one thought to pick it for ages. So, obviously, that worked out well for us. But yeah, let me know in the comments below how this series is. Any tips, anything you want to add, let me know. And I'll have we read of them. Hopefully, I'll be in the chat live for this. So, thank you all so much for watching. See you in the next one.